the truck is a 72 body on a 73 chassis. It has the newer steering gearbox instead of the old slave cylinder. Um, as you can see, the heater hoses need hooked up and it needs a new shutoff valve. The car still needs, or I should say the truck still needs a few little things here and there to finish. The motor's a 390. Uh, it's been rebuilt, uh, runs great, starts easily, no smokes. Um, it does need exhaust manifold gaskets. They're not cracked, but it does make the ticking sound. Typical, you know, exhaust manifold gasket leak. As you can see, the firewall and everything is very nice. Um, just got away from buying rust, old junk and patching, so I bought good clean parts. You can see the hood's very nice. Um, it's got a couple little bubbles starting on the outside. Uh, like I said, we did this truck five years ago. Um, it's holding up very well. Uh, typical of a sheet metal that wasn't rotted away to start with. Uh, a lot of the patch trucks come back after a year or so. But uh, pretty solid truck. The truck is painted underneath the cab floors. Uh, the grill's driver quality. I have another grill that will go with the truck. It's a little nicer than this one. The bumpers are re-chromed, new parking light lenses. Uh, tires are good. Um, quite a bit of tread left on them. I'm not much on tires that stick out past the body, but this is what we had available to us when we built the truck and they've just been on it. Um, they don't hump or anything like that. The truck drives very nice. You can see the outside of these doors are nice. It was all southern body. Insides of the fenders are nice. I don't know if the video will show it. But you can see the cab mounts. Somewhat a little bit dirty. Needs to be cleaned. Um, new shocks. Just no, just no rust. Very nice. Um, again, it has the, the newer style steering. I'll show it to you. The '73 style. Um, I miss. I got. We just changed the power steering pump here today, so the belt isn't on just yet. But I wanted to get the videos taken before dark. You can see it's very nice, clean. All the inner fender wells are nice. All the way back to the cow. This is all original equipment, no aftermarket. I show you the other door. Here's the pinch welds down here. Here's the surface rust I was talking about. This a little bit of flaky, but um, like, again, it blends very easy. It's a nice pastel colors, are easy to blend. This is this door is a little worse than the other, but again, it's all just surface rust, nothing brutal, no rot. Cab corners are nice. Has a new dash bezel in it. Um, steering wheel is missing the center. Uh, we didn't do anything with it, so that's the deal with it. The carpet was new five years ago, but it was a cheap brand evidently because it's faded. But again, cab corners. I don't know. I'll crawl underneath and show you some pictures of the floor. Uh, I don't know. Here, here you can see. It's very clean. These are the cab corners. They are starting 
Just a little bit of surface rust off the pinch welds. Um, the bed of the floor underneath has all been painted. The exhaust is new. Well, it was new five years ago, let's put it that way. But still very nice. Not too many miles on it since we've done. Um, seem to enjoy building these vehicles and not so much driving them. It has a divorce transfer case with the jack shaft, so it's easy to change the transmission to anything you want. If you prefer a four-speed, it's very doable in these older trucks. There's the cab mounts. You can see there's no rust. And I don't know if we can see the rocker so well, but they are rust-free. Okay, well, that's about it. Have any questions, feel free to call. I'll list the number. Thank you.